My name is Dr. Tishon. In this video, we're going to take a look at the unit circle and where the radian measures come from. As you can see, I am filming this in my backyard, so please excuse any of the background noises you might hear. You might hear some airplanes flying overhead, dogs barking, there's been children outside playing. It's just such a beautiful day today, so I'm going to go ahead and do this from my backyard. Okay, so let's take a look at the unit circle. This is our unit circle. Um, I have degree measures on the unit circle labeled. So if you remember maybe from a geometry class, a circle contains 360 degrees. So you start here at zero, and as you rotate around counterclockwise, you get a quarter of the circle is 90 degrees, half the circle 180 degrees, three quarters of the circle to 270, and so 360 degrees, okay? When you get into advanced math classes, you start to learn that there's another way to measure angles in a circle, not just degrees, but radians. So I thought we would take a look at the radian, the definition of where this comes from, why they're labeled the way they are. So take a look at the definition of radian. A radian is the radius of the circle measured along the circumference. So we're gonna see that happen right now. Let's take the radius of the circle, and I'm gonna use, I have a piece of pipe cleaner here because it's flexible and I think I can show with this. And we wanna see where it comes from. We're gonna measure the radius with this pipe cleaner. So the radius goes from the center of the circle to a point on the circle. So my radius goes to about here. So I'm gonna fold my pipe cleaner over. So remember that from geometry, the radius of the circle goes from the center to a point on the circle. So now here is the length of my radius. You can see that there is the radius, all right? What we wanna do is we wanna take this radius and measure it along the circumference. Circumference is around the outside of the circle, isn't it? So we're gonna take this radius and we're gonna measure it along the circumference. So let's do that. So here's the radius and I'm gonna move this radius to a long, so here's my starting point at zero degrees, and we're gonna go along the circumference, and I'm using this pipe cleaner because I, it's a little bit more flexible, and so you can see that one radian, one radian comes to about right here, okay? So about right here, this is where one radian is. Let me mark that. So there's one radian, okay? You take the radius and you measure it along the circumference, there's one radian, okay? So let's measure a second radian, okay? So right from the end of this radian, let's measure a second one. So from the end of this radian, stretch it around the circumference, our second radian goes to about right here. And let me mark this, okay? So here is where we're gonna have two radians. Okay, so here's our marking for two radians, okay? So let's mark another radian in here, right? So we took the radius along the circumference, there's to the first radian, okay? And then here's your second one. Let's go ahead from the second radius and let's mark a third radian. Come on around to about here, right about here. And then this is third, three radian spans to about here. Okay, so there's three radians, okay? So three radians right to about here. Um, there's three radians, okay? So now take a look in 180 degrees, how many radians do you think we're dealing with in 180 degrees, okay? Do you see how many radians? Well, looks like you got one radian to two to three. How many radians in 180 degrees? Looks like it's a little bit more than three, isn't it? Okay, and actually that, that's what it is. It's a little bit more than three. We have an irrational number that beautifully describes this spot right here, um, and that's pi, right? Pi, so pi is, about 3.14159, et cetera. It's an irrational number. And that is how many radians we have in 180 degrees, okay? Because of the definition. So we call 180 degrees pi radians. And really when you're learning how to convert degrees and radians, you wanna make sure that you know that connection because everything's gonna kinda of come back to this, right? So, and where did that come from again? It came straight from our definition. The radian, the radian is, when you, do, you find the um, measure of an angle with radians, the radian is the radius of the circle measured along the circumference, okay? You take the radius measured along the circumference, we have one radian, two radians, three radians, and then in a half a circle, 180 degrees, a little bit more than three radians, with pi radians, all right? Now, that takes care of 180 degrees, let's go ahead and we'll fill in all the rest. All the rest we're gonna relate to this situation right here, okay? 180 degrees is pi radians, and you see that, okay? So now let's relate the other, just so we're, we'll start at zero. All right, so zero radians, okay, so let's go to 90 degrees, okay? 90 degrees is 
half of 180 degrees. So 90 degrees is half of 180 degrees. So in terms of radians, um, we're dealing with half of pi. Half of pi, and we call that pi over two, don't we? Okay, so pi over two, all right? So now let's fill in the increments in 90 degrees. We're gonna start over here at zero. Every 90 degrees we go, we're going one half pi radians, okay? So you go 90 degrees, there's one half pi radians. Go another 90 degrees, there's two halves pi. Two's cancel, right, so pi radians. Go another 90 degrees, there's three halves pi, right here, 270 degrees, three halves pi radians, okay? Go with another 90 degrees and you're at four halves pi, four halves or two pi, okay? And so there's your radian measures on the axes, all right? Now, what about all these others? Well, let's do our increments of 45 degrees next. So remember, everything's gonna relate right here to pi is 180 degrees. All right, 45 degrees, that is one fourth of 180 degrees. That is one fourth of 180 degrees. So in terms of pi radians, we're dealing with one fourth pi. One fourth pi, we write pi over four for the 45 degrees, which means every increment of 45 degrees that you travel around the inner circle, you're going one fourth pi. So here, here we go and travel with me. So you're at zero, here's one fourth pi. Go your next 45 degrees and you're at two fourths pi. Two fourths pi is pi over two, okay? Go another 45 degrees here and you're at three fourths pi, three pi over four. Go another 45 degrees and you're at four pi over four. Fours cancel, so it's pi. Go another 45 degrees and you're at five pi over four. So this is five pi over four. Another 45 degrees and you're at six pi over four and six pi over four reduces to three pi over two. Go another 45 degrees and we're at seven pi over four. Here's seven pi over four and then another 45 degrees back to where we started, eight pi over four and eight pi over four reduces to two pi. All right, see how this works? All right, and then let's take care of our 30 degree increments, which is gonna pick up the 60, right, as well. So 30 degrees is 1 sixth of 180. 30 degrees is 1 sixth of 180, okay? So which means in terms of pi, 30 degrees, that must be 1 sixth pi. And we call that pi over six, all right? Every 30 degrees you travel, you're gonna go 1 sixth pi, okay? So you go the next 30 degrees and you're at 2 sixth pi. Two over six, that reduces to pi over three, okay? Go another 30 degrees and you're at 3 six pi, 3 six, which is pi over two. Another 30 degrees and you're at 4 sixth pi. Four six is gonna be two pi over three. Another 30 degrees and you're at five sixth pi, five pi over six. Another 30 degrees and you're at six sixth pi, the sixes cancel. Another 30 degrees and you're at seven sixth pi. Another 30 degrees, you're at eight sixth pi, eight over six, that's four pi over three. Another 30 degrees, you're at nine pi over six. Nine six pi reduces to three pi over two. Another 30 degrees, you're at 10 pi over six. 10 pi over six is five pi over three when you reduce it, okay? Another 30 degrees, you're at 11 pi over six. And then finally, back to where you start, 12 pi over six, which reduces to two pi, okay? So this is where your radian measures come from. Okay, so this is where it is, just it comes straight from the definition. You take the radius, you measure it along the circumference, and it's another way to measure our angles, okay? So degrees, or we use radians, all right? Now, other descriptions you may see out there, because we have conversions, you know? So what if you know the degree measure and you want the radian measure? Well, we have conversion formulas, okay? And the conversion formula is here for you, but where does the conversion formula come from? Well, a radian is the ratio of the arc length to the radius, okay? So the arc length, all right? So cir the circumference of a circle, the distance around the entire circle is two pi r, isn't it? Two times pi times radius gives you the distance around, okay? So arc length, well, what if instead of the distance around the whole circle, you just wanted a part of the distance, a just a fraction of the, of the distance? So your arc length formula is, really, it's a fraction of the circumference, okay? And this is in terms, m is in terms of degrees, isn't it? So it's some degree number out of 360 degrees. It's, you know, so maybe you want 30 degrees out of the, 
all right? Because an arc length is a piece of the uh, length of the circle. So if you take the arc length and divide it by the radius, because the radi radian measure is also described as the ratio of the arc length to the radius. So if you put your arc length formula, fraction of the circumference, divided by the radius, and if you simplify your formula here, you can see the radii cancel, okay? And then so m over 360 times 2 pi is what's left over. Well, 2 over 360, well, that's 1 over 180. So you can write this in simplified form, m over 180 uh, multiplied by pi, or pi over 180 times m, okay? Where m is the degree measure of the angle. So if you want the radian measure, you take the degree measure and you multiply it by pi over 180, okay? So we want to know what 30 degrees is in terms of radians. You plug in 30, and so it's 30 pi over 180, and when you reduce that, you're going to get 1 pi over 6, pi over 6, okay? So this is your conversion formula. Here's your definition of radian, okay? So now, one more thing to think about. Why work in radians? We already have degrees, okay? So it gives you another measure, all right? So I mean, you can think about this and measure in a linear uh, entity, you know? Are you gonna measure it in yards or are you gonna measure it in meters, you know? So one has its advantage over the other depending on what you're doing, you know? So yards, well, you know, a yard is 36 inches. It's three feet, you know? A meter, it's one, one meter is 100 centimeters, 1,000 millimeters. So it depends, you know, what, what you're working in, okay? So what about a degree? A circle is the circle is 360 degrees, and so, you know, one out of 360, you know, with the degree measures, whereas radians, you know, so, so you got pi radians in 100 degrees, you got two pi radians in the whole circle, so it's just another way to measure it. The other thing, too, is when you buy technology, a lot of times when you buy graphing calculators to use in advanced math class, a lot of these calculators are in um, radians, right? They default to radians. If you want to put your calculators in, in degrees, you would have to actually go to the mode and change the radians to degrees because it defaults to that. So a lot of your upper, upper, upper level math classes are going to use radian measures. So it's really helpful to understand where it comes from, okay? So, you know, in, in just in that one more thing with, with studying mathematics, you know, it's always nice to know you know, what is it and how does it work, okay? But it's gonna really, really mean so much more to you if you know where it came from, you know, and how it works, okay? And, you know, and so on, okay? So, so know how, but you know, if you, if you know where it comes from, if you know why it works, it, a lot of times it helps with the, you know, what it is and how it works and so on, okay? All right, anyways, that's it. I hope this helps with your radian measures, okay? If these videos do help you, will you please consider subscribing? There's a button down below to subscribe. And thank you for your attention here. I'm in my backyard, so I do apologize that the background noise got in the way, but, um, but I do appreciate you watching. And um, thank you so much. Best wishes. Bye-bye.